Finally tonight, a blast from the past, sort of. Our Ian Lee took a spin. Whoever said it's as easy as riding a bike never rode a penny farthing. Be careful, you're riding about seven foot up in the air. Neil Lawton runs the Penny Farthing Club in London. They're so unusual. Um, these bikes were had their day, their, their fame was in the 1870s to 1890s. There's a reason the term breakneck speed comes from these bikes. Back then, before gears, the bigger the tire, the faster and further you'd go. Oh, and there are no brakes. And this is a Queen Victoria. And its name, Penny Farthing, was coined from centuries-old currency. Penny being the large coin and the farthing being the small coin. Crowd is building. When the pandemic hit, more and more people gave these Victorian classics a spin. Bike shops saw demand double. One will cost you a pretty penny, though, about two grand. But it's easy to see why there's interest. Just look at the reactions. Nothing to see here, just a man on a penny farthing. To ride this beast of a bike, it's important to remember the five C's. Confidence, courage, commitment, coordination, concentration, and if you lose one of them, you'll learn the sixth C, crashing. And if you fall off, you fall off. Melissa Isdale is a penny farthing enthusiast. Some people's perceptions might be that I might be a bit mad. <laughs> but I think you have to try them to understand it. It's such good fun. And a good way to ride around London's famous tourist attractions. Heck, you might just become one yourself. Hello. Howdy. Ian Lee, CBS News, London. Nice job, Ian.